Hello, people. I just wanted to come on here um, today and briefly discuss. I'm back on here talking about Nipsey Hussle's baby mama, Tanisha Foster, and that issue. Um, technically, I wouldn't feel like I really need to come back and discuss because I do have um, an initial video about it, but I'm getting really irritated by other YouTubers, and I don't mean that in a negative way, but, and I don't have anything against them on a personal note, nor do I have anything against them on any other topics, but certain YouTubers that are just showing just mad, mad support for Tanisha Foster as it relates to getting her daughter back. Now, I think I said in my last video that I am a mother myself, so I don't advocate or necessarily agree with anybody just taking somebody's kid. Like, that's wrong, right? Of course it is. However, if someone's taking someone's kid and trying to get them out of a bad situation I don't feel like it's wrong you know what I mean like if, 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 if there had been people to you know get that little girl Malia out of her situation you know what I'm saying take her from her mother possibly maybe she would be here possibly you know, the little girl was being abused by the stepdad, and I think later on they said, you know, in more than one way, like maybe not just physically, um, also sexually. So that's sad, you know, the mother is unfit, regardless of, you know, she loved her kid and all this and that. When, to me, in my opinion, when things like that happen, you love yourself more. You love your kid, but you're willing to use your child as the guinea pig, you know, to stay in this relationship or whatever the case may be. Because there's absolutely no way in hell I'm going to stay with a man that wants to beat up on my kid. And, you know, the little girl wasn't even his child. What? I'm not letting you hit my kid? Her own daddy don't even do it. What the fuck am I going to let you do it for? But anyway... I'm not here to talk about them. Just saying, if so many other children could have had a chance had someone stepped in and said, you know what, forget it. By all means necessary, I'm getting this kid out of this situation. Now, do I mean that um, Imani was being abused physically, sexually, or any of those things? No, I do not. N nor do I think that was taking place. I was just using um, the Malia situation as an example. If someone had taken her out of that, you know, situation, she may be here. But, um, yeah, the certain YouTubers, it's like they refuse, refuse to realize that this girl is not stable right now to take care of her child. I mean, it's it's no big deal. It is a big deal, but, I mean, it, this is not anything new. I mean, there is, there is a such thing as an unfit mother. It has been for many, many years, and there will continue to be unfit parents from here on out to the end of time. I mean, there's nothing... You know what I'm saying? I mean, you could be unfit, but you can also turn things around. It's just about... It's about the person and what they want to do. You know what I mean? I understand that just the taking of the kid was wrong or, you know, just unheard of. Who would just take someone's kids? But the thing is, you got to realize why she just took the kid and didn't give her back. It was because she was in a fucked up situation. Point blank in the period. Obviously, they know the girl. When I say girl, I mean Tanisha Foster. They know her. They know her lifestyle. They know what she about. They know what she do. I mean, they've been knowing her. Like she said so many times, slurring. She's been around for 16 years. 
So they know her. They know her lifestyle, and they know what's going on with her other children. As I wrote in a comment to one of these um, YouTubers that is clearly, <laughs> you know, in denial because he, you know, he wants to stick on the fact that Tanisha just took the girl's child and didn't give her back. Well, hell, she did it for a reason. I know dang gone well, you can't just take somebody's kid and not have anything to go on as far as them being unfit and nothing happened to you. You take somebody's kid, keep the kid, and once uh, Child Protective Services or whatever, the family courts get involved and they do their report and their investigation and they find out there's absolutely nothing wrong with this mother and her home, everything is up to par, that person getting in trouble. And it may even be for kidnapping. You can't do that. So for her to just take this girl's child, keep her, and then immediately fi file a court, a case, you know, for um, immediate custody, she knew that it was some craziness going on. So, you know, she not... You know, I just, I don't get it. People just, they don't want to own up to that the girl has quite a few serious problems. And any court, any judge, any family court um, attorney, custody attorney, whatever you want to call it, will tell you, you got to get yourself together first before we can even come before these people or they're not going to give you your child back, period. I don't care how small the issues are. DUI, if you didn't complete it, complete it, and then come back and see me. You know what I'm saying? If you didn't get your license back, get your license, and then come back and see me. You didn't follow through with the DUI court date, you know, for them to end the um, case and, and, and do whatever they're going to do, send you to jail, find you, um, or continue to suspend your license or whatever, then, you know... There's no need for us to go back before a judge if all these things are left uncompleted. You know, you got a child in juvenile detention where they say they're not going to release her because she doesn't have a high school diploma, but she could be released if a adult like her mother would come and say, well, you know what, go ahead and release her. I'm going to make sure she's in school by, you know, the next 60 days or whatever the case may be. Or make sure she gets her GD within the next four months or whatever the case may be. And then she could be released. Not to mention she hasn't showed up for any of the child's um, court hearings while she was in juvenile home. You know, I'm quite sure she may have shown up for one or two or whatever, but obviously she hasn't shown up for many if they, you know, pretty much feel like she hasn't shown up for the girl. Plus, um, she's been in and out of juvenile home since she was 12. Her other child, her son, I think he's a 16 or 17 years old which the um, daughter the older daughter um, she's 18 at this point so she had the son not too long after she had this daughter and he's not in school or he goes you know pretty much when he feels like it I guess and when he don't want to go he doesn't so I mean unless you are boo boo the fool you already know the grades are horrible because you can't have decent grades when you're showing up for school today but didn't show up tomorrow, didn't show up the day after that, but you're coming back the next day. And then, you know what I mean? And it continues on week after week after week. Come on. And I don't know what it is about him staying at other people's houses, but, you know, they say he house hops. 
could go here and stay on Ronald and them couch. And then this night he might stay on Gerald and them couch. Or he might sleep on the floor of Marissa house or, you know, whoever, however. But why? He has a home, supposedly. He has a mother. Why is he staying at all these other people's house? I understand kids spend the night over each other's house, but that's not the way it was presented. So, um, you know, while all this is going on, you know, the kids are here and there. Both kids is here and the other one is there. She's taking car trips to Florida, hanging out, having fun, it looks like. Because it's, it, to me, it seemed like I would get my kids together. But that's me, you know. I wouldn't be able to have fun my child sitting up in juvenile home. That's a jail, mind you. It's just for children. You know, and I don't think they're actually behind bars. They're in, like, rooms or whatever. But it's still like a detention center. They can't go about as they want. And, you know, kids get molested and all that type of stuff in juvenile homes, too. So, you know, I know me. I, I wouldn't even be able to sleep at night knowing my kid was there. I was just in the ER not too long ago with my own child um, because of an accident that he had had. And I was crying my eyes out because, you know, as a parent, you just, you hurt when your kid is hurt. And your kid not stable and they all out wilding you know most parents would be outdone but when you kind of don't give a fuck or when you wilding out yourself and high all the time yeah no you're not gonna care because <laughs> it's not gonna matter so you know i don't have any sympathy for her you know i can pray for her you know what i mean i'm not trying to dog her out but I don't have any sympathy for her because right now she just don't care. She just doesn't care. And this whole um, Imani thing, I'm not saying she doesn't love her, but, you know, she know Imani come with a million dollars. I mean, and that's the bottom line. And, you know, Nipsey's family is probably gunning to try to keep her um, also because they want to keep the money in the family and be able to control the money. And I get that. I wouldn't want my son and my brother's money being spent by somebody who's not responsible. You, you're you not even responsible enough or give a fuck enough to get your license. You don't even give a fuck enough to um, want to clear up the DUI charge. And that ain't really nothing. I mean, people kill people. <clears throat> excuse me, behind the wheel when they're driving drunk. Luckily, that has never happened to her. But I'm just saying, at this point, it's a pretty simple, minute charge. And you don't even give a damn enough to get that shit straight. How the hell you gonna be a respectable, you know, parent that's really taking care of business and taking care of of small and little things as it relates to being an adult, as it relates to being a parent, when you don't even want to take care of the small shit. Girl, bye. I do not have any sympathy for her. What I do have for her is get yourself together, period. And no, you're not getting your daughter back until you get yourself together because... I don't know her personally, but the way it looked right now, it, it seems as if she would get her daughter, Imani, you know, they gonna cut her the check. I don't know if they would make it where Imani has it, it's in a trust fund for her and she get it at 18 or 21 or whatever, because that's really what needs to happen, but, um, in my opinion. But, you know, let's just say for the sake of argument, she get her daughter back. They cut her a check. Um, after taxes, I think it's like 800 or 900 and some thousand. Okay, she's going to get a better place to stay in a better neighborhood. But do you really think if she 
really don't get serious about getting herself together, getting in a rehab situation and all that, do you really think she's going to spend that money properly? Hell no. She's going to be partying her life away with more lean, more pills, and she's going to have more lean and more pills for her friends. And the kids are still not going to be in school. She may not even never go pick up this little girl out to ju juvenile home. Who the hell knows? But I know it don't look good. Imani will probably end up pregnant early. Because that's what happens with kids that don't have guidance. And clearly their mother can't even guide herself properly. Just last week, she on internet ready to fight Lauren London, and for what? They posted some pic, uh, some video of Lauren London talking about something, what motivates her or whatever. And then this little crazy girl get on there talking about you not a crip and he didn't love you and he left you. First of all, the man is gone. Who cares at this point? You know what I'm saying? Like, who cares about who he loved and who he didn't love right now? Everybody who cared about him or loved him is mourning. So who gives a shit who he loved and who he didn't love when he was here at this point? The only thing is people who knew that he loved or knew Nipsey loved them, that's what they're going to keep in their heart while they're gone, period, while he's gone, period. And if she feels that he loved her, Keep that in your heart and move on. You didn't gotta you don't have to keep splurring that out. And why was you on the fan page anyway if it didn't have nothing to do with you? If you don't have no problems with um Lauren London and everything is fine, like she said in one of her own um Instagram lives, why would you get on there ready to fight or telling her to uh let's meet up and all this stuff? And where the hell you get she not a crip? Men, woman ain't even mentioned nothing about being a crip. Of course she's not a crip. She an actress. You know what I'm saying? Like, this girl losing her mind. And it's sad and bad. And these certain YouTubers, they want to keep um, glossing over that and her actions and, and, and just the bottom line. The bottom line is, is that she not stable and she's unfit. Her kids is running amok. And so is she. And you can't deny that. And you can't look over that. I don't care at this point. I do not care if the woman took the daughter and didn't give her back and filed a report. That's what the fuck she was supposed to do if she saw her niece in the line of fire. Like, her niece can get caught up right now. My niece can, you know, I ain't no telling what could happen to my niece while she at home. And I keep bringing the Malia case up because... You know, if someone could have been like, you know what, I know what's going on with her and her stepdad. I'm about to take this little girl, period. And I'm going to file a report. Malia would be here. So, you know, I just wanted to come and give my two cents about that. Like, I'm so over these YouTubers who just, they won't get off the case that she just took her child. Yes! I would just take somebody's child too if I saw that child being beaten or being abused in any kind of way or if her parents is up in the house doing drugs all kind of people in there and you know all these she not going to school yeah I would take somebody's kid and, and be like well, let me file a case and you know they can have them back as soon as everything together or I don't have to keep her put her in another home that's stable just get her to fuck up out of there you know, it's called being a good Samaritan. But they can't get over the fact that the kid was taken from their mother. Sometimes a mother is just an egg donor. Just like certain fathers are just sperm donors. Sometimes mothers is just egg donors and have an incubator. But when the kid come out, they don't give a fuck. And that's because they have problems within themselves. If you can't be good to yourself, you can't be good to nobody else, including your kids. So I just wanted to come on here real quick and, and vent, basically, because, you know, you got to get over the fact that somebody took the kid 
from the woman. I mean, they took the kid for a good ass reason, and it's all coming out. And then they want to talk about, oh well, you know, they're um, got um, stories leaking. Regardless if the story is leaking or not, as long as it's leaking and ending up being factual, then who cares? It got leaked or it didn't get leaked. The facts are the facts, and you can't look over it. <sighs> but that's all. That's all I wanted to talk about. If you want to leave a comment, please do. Thanks.